today I'm going to show you how to plot a sine wave using MATLAB and in order to do that we actually um, so we start the MATLAB then we write basic things CLC clear or close all just to clear off the things in this uh, common window so for a sine wave you need to understand the basic equation sine wave actually has three things amplitude phase and frequency here in our first wave which is uh, x equals to a sine 2 pi ft there is a frequency but there is no phase but in the second wave we have phase pi by 2 we're gonna plot this two wave in the MATLAB so we define the amplitude a equals to 50 and time period t equals to 4 let's say 4 and the frequency has an inverse relationship with the time so f is equals to 1 by t now we add the equation of the sine wave we actually uh, to before that we actually define time which is so here we start at time t is equals to 0 then we take a sample of point 0.1 second and we end at time t is equals to 10 Now if you look at uh, the sine wave, we're just going to copy and paste it on the screen. Let's see. Uh, now, to plot this, uh, actually, we need to write the plot function. So, in the x-axis, we're going to have time t. And in the y-axis, we will have the wave, which is x. Okay, which should be the capital X. Okay, now this is done. So, we... Now, if we uh, want to give the x level, uh, which is actually what's the in the in the x axis, which is time, so we indicate x x level by giving time, and uh, uh, let's finish the x level and move on to y level, um, which is amplitude. So our y level should be marked as amplitude. Okay, I made a mistake for um, capital letter. Now we are done and uh, we go to the editor menu to plot this. And we run it. So basically this is the sine wave. This is the sine wave. It starts from 0 time t is equals to 0 and finishes at time t is equals to 10. Now to understand it more clearly we we have to add the grid on function so let's go and add the grid on function to the main code Now you see it starts at time t is equals to zero, and uh, and actually finishes here at time t is equals to four. Actually, it, uh, after t t is equals to four second, it comes to the same phase. So now we are done. And to uh, if we just want a single sine wave, not this so many. So here is a plot of single sine wave, it's starting at time t is equals to zero, and and ending at time t is equals to 4. Now since the sine wave to the cosine wave we can change the phase by pi by 2. So here is the equation of changing the sine wave to the cosine wave by pi by 2 and we if we add it to the main equation of x equals to sine a 2 pi ft uh, now if we want a posi positive cosine wave then we should change the phase of the sine wave by plus pi by 2 now here you see it actually starts from the amplitude which is a equals to 50 and then comes to the same phase after completing the whole cycle at a equals to 50. So if we want the negative sine wave then we can change the phase by minus pi by 2 and we run it. 
okay so here it actually starts in the negative amplitude and ends it at uh, time equals to t equals to 4 and the same phase of minus 50. now to get some actually like just like the previous so here we have two uh, exactly uh, two or th maybe three sine waves so this is how you actually now if you want to add a title uh, sinusoidal for the sinusoidal plotting so then okay let's say sinusoidal waveform sinusoidal waveform yep and this actually title function would add add a title to your graph which you have plot now if we run it you'll see now this actually if you see at the top of the waveform there is a sinusoidal waveform written on this graph so this is how you add the title to the graph and that's how you get the sine wave done thank you for your time